And what a moment for this guy. One of the 180 athletes that have received support from Bank of Scotland on their journey to 2012 and beyond. Come on, Perth, let's hear you. Let's celebrate a little bit of history in this historic city. What a way to go here at Bank of Scotland National School Sport Week. Boys and girls, make more noise than you have ever made before. This is a man who has competed for Scotland in the 2010 Commonwealth Games in Delhi. He's won multiple national cycling titles. This is one of the proudest days in Kevin Stewart's life. This Bank of Scotland local hero bringing the one and the only Olympic flame here to National School Sport Week. And let's go mad as we welcome Kevin onto the stage. Here it is, folks. The Olympic flame is here. Let's give it a warm welcome everyone. How about a round of applause for Kevin Stewart. Now, <laughs> I was going to ask you how you're feeling. I suspect you're feeling on top of the world. What was that like? Unbelievable. Wow. Look at this turnout. That's amazing. Absolutely, words can't describe. Words cannot describe how I'm feeling right now. Absolutely phenomenal. Once in a lifetime experience. Thank you so much for all coming out. Thank you for coming, cheering on, supporting. Absolutely phenomenal. It's all about you guys. This is what makes it. Thank you. And when do you think you're going to stop smiling? <laughs> Maybe a couple of years from now. We'll see. I don't know. Maybe never. Uh, Kevin, as I mentioned, is a Bank of Scotland local hero. He's represented Scotland at the Commonwealth Games. Yes! You won loads of titles. You broke the junior British 200 metre time trial in Moscow. You're now coaching cyclists in your hometown of Dundee. What is it? You know, and, the, and National School Sport Week, all about involving and inspiring kids in sport. What is it that inspired you in sport? Just especially guys who, maybe the position I'm in now, who had the time, you know, to take time out to, to, to look after the guys who are coming into the sport. You know, guys like you right now, who are all maybe just coming into the sport, getting involved with it. Really looked up to, really inspired me and thought, yeah, yeah, I want to do this. This is phenomenal. This is what I can do. I see these guys, I was like, wow, this is amazing. Maybe I can, if these guys can do it, then we can do it as well. Who thinks that maybe one day they'll get to have the honour of carrying an Olympic flame? Give us a shout if you want that to be you. Now, Kevin, very shortly, I'm going to ask you to perform what we call the torch kiss. This is where Kevin passes this one Olympic flame onto our next set of torch bearers. They come from a school that you might know, Perth Academy, anyone? Before we meet the pupils from Perth Academy, please welcome two of our special guests to the stage. Uh, they, like everyone else here, are very thrilled. And a second, Lady Susan Rice from Lloyds Banking Group in Scotland. Perth Academy's very own Olympic torch bearers. We're going to bring Kevin back onto the stage. Now this is what you have seen performed the length and breadth of the country. The exchange of the Olympic flame. They call it the torch kiss. This is when the two flames will meet up. And at this moment, when the flame is exchanged, when the Perth Academy torch is lit with the Olympic flame, let's get ready with that applause. 
as a little bit of Olympic history is made here to the sound of the pipes and drums as one torchbearer hands it to the other. The Olympic flame is now in the hands of Perth Academy. The team from Perth Academy will now, under the instructions of our stewards from the Met Police who have been guarding this Olympic flame around the country, make their way out of the North Inch. Let's wish them well, everyone. This is where you get to see I was there the day the London 2012 Olympic flame came to Perth. And what an amazing day for these pupils at Perth Academy. And one thing's for sure, this is a day that these young men and women will remember for the rest of their lives. They can believe it. They are carrying the Olympic flame through their whole